Well, Jennifer, what I can tell you at this point is it, it seems like fire and instances of fire are everywhere we look. We are just at the remains of a house fire, a duplex fire. Uh, in the general neighborhood of Swan and Grant, uh, Tucson Fire is just wrapping this up uh, where a person uh, left with uh, smoke inhalation and uh, their side of the duplex is likely uninhabitable. Now, at the same time, we're looking up towards Mount Lemon, where we're certainly watching the weather, watching a wildfire there. Firefighters are watching the weather as well. Last night's storm whipped up the winds. They whipped up the fire there and expanded it by about 40 acres. Now, chopper crews are still dousing the land with water to snuff out the fire and wet down areas so the fire won't spread so easily. As stiff winds blew up last night, they pushed the fire past fire lines crews dug or burned in, designed to stop the spread by taking away what the fire needs to burn. The fire is a, a little bigger. Uh, it's 280 acres now, but the, uh, the crew was able to uh, get a handle on that uh, on that additional 40 acres this morning. And okay. Now in dispatch for the interagency fire center, workers are watching the weather to see how it may affect fires across the southwest. They are prepared to shift crews and equipment as fire and the weather demand. Now again, we're sort of have a mix of a structure fire while we're talking about a wildfire up on Mount Lemon. Here you see some of the fire crews uh, preparing to uh, most likely go back to their fire station waiting for another call. And the fire up on Mount Lemon is very much a child of the weather. Lightning caused that fire. Winds helped it expand. Now they're hoping for rain to help snuff it out. Reporting live, Craig Smith, Cake on 9, on your side. Craig, thank you.